The Blue Jays are off to an excellent start in 2023, and I, today I'm going to be talking about all the people who are making it su- like such an excellent start. I'm going to start off, get, hop right into it, 13 seconds in, with Kevin Gossman. Kevin Gossman has been elite. He leads the MLB in strikeouts right now. I, I can't remember how much, but it's a lot. He had 13 against the Mariners, 11 in his start before that, and he's just been electric. And part of why he's been so good, he's using that fastball and splitter, but he's actually been using his slider to righties a lot, and it's actually been getting him quite a bit of Ks. I'm pretty sure he used it 20 times against the Mariners. Yeah, he, he, set a, he set a career high in strikeouts with 13 for himself against the M's. So, like, that that's pretty good. 13 strikeouts is pretty good. Um, now I'm going to talk about Alec Manoa, who has command issues at the start of the 2023 season. He had a great start in New York, but the rest, he's ha- he's just given up a lot of walks, and it just seems he can't get the ball where he wants to get it. Once again, good signs in New York. We all know he's a crazy competitive guy, so maybe he just needs some crazy Yankees Blue Jays rivalry to like make him super good. We all know Alec Manoa is good. I would not worry about it. He's going to go back to normal. Hopefully. I I I wouldn't worry about it. It's it's Alec Manoa. Then Chris Bassett, Jose Barrios and Yusei Kuchi all doing very good. As I'm recording this, Chris Bassett is pitching against the Mariners. The Blue Jays lead that series, not game, series. The starting pitching has been great, but the bullpen has actually been elite. Jimmy Garcia, been crazy good. Tim Meza, also been crazy good. Same with guys like Eric Swanson. Oh my god, Eric Swanson has been so good. Everybody, even Adam Simber, who is on the 15-day IL, I'm pretty sure. Nate Pearson got called up for him. Nate Pearson was all right. It, Adam Simber's doing well. It feels like Zach Pop. Anthony Bass is really the only one who's not doing the greatest. And I've seen a lot of trade rumors, like, trading him away. Partly because he's getting old. Um, and he's just, he's not off to a great start. And the popcorn incident. Not going to talk about the popcorn incident. But I'll sum it up for those of you who don't know. His daughter spilled popcorn and they made his pregnant wife clean it up. He That was a thing a few weeks ago. But anyway, um, the bull, all the starting pitching, all the relief pitching has been excellent. And the offense, it's been, th- there are guys who are hitting above 300. And then there's some guys who aren't doing the greatest. So, so, obviously, there's Matt Chapman, who is just out of this world. Player of the month in April, for sure. Like, Jared Kalnick, nah, yeah, he's good, but Chapman's better. Going into his, um, going into free agency, Chapman, they're gonna need to re-sign him. Video coming out about that soon. Um, Chapman is so, so good. I'm pretty sure he only, I think he hit 500 once. At like er, in the early going of the season, but Chapman's doing good. Vladdy doing very very good. Same with Bichette. Um, Kiermaier cooled off a bit, but still pretty solid in that nine spot. And then Varsho had a walk off against the Mariners. Line drive to right, and he wins the ball game for the Blue Jays. So maybe things are starting to heat up with him, and. And and then, like, oh, Whit Merrifield. Whit Merrifield is doing very good. George Springer is all right. Kirk looks like he's heating up. Same with Jansen. But a thing John Schneider is doing is he's giving guys like Espinal and Biggio and Belt. Belt, not doing good. Uh, he's giving them too much at-bats. They're not doing well, and you have other options. Like, don't put... Don't put... Biggio in right, or I don't know, uh, Biggio in left, Varsho in center. Get, if you want to give Kiermaier a day off, put Merrifield in left, Varsho in center, and Springer in right. Don't put Biggio there, because yes, he hits lefty, but what's the point of him hitting lefty if he's not hitting the ball? 
Like, he can't even walk anymore. He's, he's just, Biggio's just not doing well. Belt, there is a little bit of, like, him getting a bit better, but it's just also not, not that pretty with Belt. And then, that, that kind of sums it up for the offense. Espinal not doing the greatest. He hurt himself, but he was fine. It, it, overall, the Blue Jays aren't really scoring enough runs. Easton McGee, he almost um, no-hit the Blue Jays. Like, that's not good. I feel like we've seen a lot of that from last year. But hopefully that offense can get can get going again because we really need it to. Thank you for watching this episode of Hey Jays, and I will see you in the next one.